interactive photo editing on smartphones via intrinsic decomposition. Intrinsic images enables various applications such as recoloring, stylization, retexturing, appearance editing, and many more. We aim to extend the usability of intrinsic images on smartphones for interactive photo editing. Our method should fulfill the following design objectives, making it possible to run on readily available devices, be fast enough for interactive editing while producing plausible results. This is made feasible with the present day high end smartphones, which are equipped with built in depth sensors, high end GPU, and graphics API. The existing intrinsic decomposition techniques cannot be ported as it is on a smartphone for our use case. The existing techniques can be broadly classified into optimization based methods and learning based approaches. For optimization based techniques, we generally minimize a cost function to estimate albedo and shading. These techniques or solutions are relatively slow and mostly do not perform at real time or interactive rates. On the other hand, learning based methods leverage the power of deep neural networks to learn the underlying albedo and shading. These methods are relatively fast, however, are resource intensive and limited to low image resolution. Both class of methods assume only diffuse reflection and ignore the specularities present in the scene. Our aim is to address these limitations while having an interactive performance on a smartphone. Our full framework looks as follows. The input RGBD data is captured by the smartphone. The specularities are removed from input, decomposing it into diffuse and specular components, thereby addressing the limitation of only diffuse reflection. The diffuse part is further decomposed into albedo and shading using a depth-based optimization. The intrinsic layers of specularity, albedo, and shading, along with the depth data, is used to showcase image editing applications. For, for specularity removal, we start by analyzing the existing methods. Most of the existing specularity removal methods work quite well for images in a controlled lab setting, as shown here. However, when applied on real-world images, the output quality degrades significantly. For our use case, which is aimed for real-world images, we need to address this limitation and thus we propose a novel specularity removal approach. To this end, we process the intensity and chromaticity information separately. As the first step of our method, we identify specular pixels in the form of a specular mask by thresholding the unnormalized Weiner entropy. The image intensity is then decomposed into subbands, and by reducing the positive coefficient for specular pixels, we are able to significantly remove the specular intensity. For specular pixels, chromaticity information might be reduced or missing, and thus we perform an iterative bilateral hole filling to in-paint the missing information. 
The output chromaticity and intensity is fused together to get a spatially consistent diffuse image. After the pre-processing step of specularity removal, we perform a depth-based intrinsic decomposition optimization. For this purpose, we minimize the following energy function. The data term ensures that the diffuse image is expressed as the product of albedo and shading. The retinex albedo term performs edge-preserving smoothing of albedo, while the retinex shading enforces local shading smoothness using depth data. We regularize albedo in L1 fashion by using an efficient high piano optimization solver. The whole energy is minimized iteratively, which is suitable for a low memory environment. This optimization decomposes the diffuse image into albedo and shading layers. We perform a qualitative evaluation for our specularity removal method and show how we perform better than the existing techniques for real-world images. For our specularity removal, we first reduce the positive coefficients of low-frequency intensity subbands within the specular mask. We then do the same for high-frequency subbands. Both of these reduction steps, followed by chromaticity in painting, gives us the final diffuse output. Here is another such example showcasing the efficacy of individual steps for our specularity removal approach. Since we target high frequency and low frequency intensity subbands separately, we can selectively reduce low frequency and high frequency specularities using our method. Moreover, instead of reducing, we can increase the positive coefficient of intensity subbands, thereby enhancing the specularities seamlessly. For intrinsic decomposition, we compare our method with three existing techniques two optimization-based approaches, which takes RGB and RGBD data as input, namely the method of Bell and colleagues and Gion and colleagues. And the third is a learning-based approach with RGB input, namely the method of Lettry and colleagues. As you can see, our method achieves comparable results while performing at interactive rates on smartphones. We observe that for existing methods, comparatively, performance degrades for outdoor scenes, as shown here. While our method is consistent for outdoor and indoor scenarios. Here we show how the individual energy components contribute in the final output quality. As we increase the number of components in the energy, the output quality becomes better, especially with respect to clearer object boundaries. Now we show a demo of our method running on an iPhone 11 Pro device. As a pre-processing step, we remove the specular highlights in the input image, decomposing it into diffuse and specular parts. The diffuse component is further decomposed into albedo and shading by an efficient 
intrinsic decomposition optimization, which uses the corresponding depth data. The computed intrinsic layers are then fed into our material editing framework, allowing for variety of material manipulations such as surface smoothing, recoloring, and transparency. One can also perform atmospheric appearance editing using our app, either by introducing virtual fog or relighting the scene as God rays. Here we show the relighting example in the form of God rays. The user can also use this app to stylize the input image using the decomposed intrinsic layers. Here we show few such examples of tone stylization. Now we discuss the variety of our material edits, such as silk, where we smooth the irregularities in shading and albedo using band sifting filters. For the tattoo effect, we replace the albedo with a tattoo texture within a mask and further perform depth-based texture warping for a plausible result. The effect of Mystique or Hulk is obtained by recoloring the albedo layer and smoothening or roughening up the shading layer for the desired output. For glass effect, we introduce translucency by replacing the albedo with an in-painted background and further perform depth-based texture warping and inverse band shifting of the shading layer for better result. To create the effect of virtual fog, we first generate a fog layer using the depth data based on the model of Narsimhan and colleagues and then linearly blend the input image and the fog layer to obtain the final output. For God rays, we first compute an occlusion map for a virtual point light source in the scene using the depth data. We then use this occlusion map for relighting purposes. We further combine the God rays and the fog for a more aesthetic effect. For stylization, we improve upon the existing tone stylization techniques using the estimated albedo, shading, and depth data. Now we discuss the limitation of our approach. For intrinsic decomposition, we initialize the optimization with the chromaticity for albedo. This initialization leads to color shift in the edited result. For specularity removal, the specular pixel identification step is not robust enough and it can potentially make the diffuse output darker. In conclusion, we present a novel specularity removal method that works for real world images. A system for intrinsic decomposition of images on smartphones is proposed. Our GPU-based implementation allows for interactive image editing, thereby enabling a variety of applications. 
As part of future work, we would like to relax some of the existing assumptions with respect to intrinsic decomposition, namely the assumption of single color illuminant and only direct illumination. We observe that the depth map captured by the smartphones are of low resolution and we believe that by performing super resolution of these depth maps, we can further enhance the output quality. We would like to make our Spickler pixel identification step more robust, thereby improving the diffuse and specular separation step. This work would not have been possible with the help and guidance of my co-authors, and hereby I would like to acknowledge their contribution. Thanks for listening, and now I would be glad to answer any questions.